my god, I can't believe I'm back here already. We got 5,000 likes. Ryan, you're in the same clothes. It's almost like it's the same day. Doesn't matter. Come in. We got the 5,000 likes. Meaning, Ash has to take the light detector test. <laughs> and I got some good questions. Now, Ryan, here's the thing. What if you find out things that aren't good for your relationship? Do you truly want to do this? I mean, I got 5,000 likes, dude. I mean, that's, that's true. Oops, oh I, my gosh. I broke your. Uh... Why would you do that? My bad. Uh, hey. We got, knock. we got 5,000 likes in a video. Meaning, uh, I need you to come with me. Your day of reckoning has come. Okay. Can I, like, send my thumbnails no. over for. Okay. No. There's no time. This is serious. Let's go. Come on. So, last time we did something like this, it was with. Janet and Luke to find out if I need to fire either of them from this company. Now, neither of them got fired, but today we're doing something a little bit different, you see. You're my girlfriend, yeah. and you work for this company, mm -hmm. meaning we're gonna be asking questions related to the company and our relationship. Also meaning I'm double safe, so. Not today you're not, you because doing? we have a lie detector test for you. We're gonna figure some stuff out and find out how faithful you really are. Okay. To both me and the company. Let's start off. Nice and simple. We're gonna start off by doing a test. I'm just gonna ask you your name and do not answer until you hear the beep. Once you hear the beep, you may answer. Is your name Ashton? Yes. Inconclusive. It I mean, I tell. prefer to go by Ash, but my name is Ashton. Okay. Do you prefer to go by Ash? Yes. Okay. I do. Okay, so. It's calibrated now. <laughs> this is a very expensive piece of equipment that this, we got from Target. Yeah, yeah, this is expensive. Obviously. Okay, we're gonna start off with a work-related question, okay? Something not so difficult. But have you ever had days where you lied about the work you did? Where you, you know, wanted to sound like you did a lot of work, but really you kind of took a day off. Have you ever done that? No. Hmm. See what the lie detector says. I haven't okay. done that. I have really good work ethic. This is gonna be a tough one. But look, <laughs> there's not many work-related questions in here. Well, okay, you pass the first question, okay? I pass all the questions, but. Well, we'll find out because we got some tough ones coming your way. That was like the begin. That was the warm-up question. We get I the tough stuff still. No, that's the calibration oh, question. Okay. okay, okay. God. Ash, yeah, you might just be fired just for the heck of it. We're gonna go straight to a hard one. Right off the bat, something nice and hard. Okay. Have you ever wanted to break up with me? Yes. <gasps> Inconclusive, we're going again. Okay. Have you ever wanted to break up with me? Yes. <laughs> it is inconclusive. I've never seen it do that. <laughs> no. It's because I love you. Have you, you ever surfing. wanted to break up with me? No. You're a liar. I, I said yes the first two mm -hmm. times, so, so I tried to say no. Okay, uh -huh. why? Perfect for <clears throat> Ryan. Such a nice little gentleman. Look at the mustache. Why? Have you seen his office? Ryan, come on. It's a little bit messy. So she passes that test, but we're about to move on to one to find out, you know, what her real intentions are. If you were offered one million dollars to not funny. speak to me ever again, would you take it? Would you take the money? No. It's a lot of money. Oh, you are just a liar. I'm not. If you were offered one million dollars to not speak to me, would you do it? No. Okay. What would it take for you what not to take? talk? How much money? It wouldn't be money. You would have to like cheat on me. Mm. Okay, thirty million dollars. No. A billion. No. I wouldn't talk to all of you for a billion dollars. If you were offered no. one billion dollars, would you not talk to me? No. I've never seen this before in my life. <laughs> you are on the fence all the time. I know. I've never met someone so I'm on the an fence. emotional person. Leave me alone. It's okay because we're gonna move on to a question that's a little more hard hitting. If we broke up, okay, would you date someone in the office? Yes. <laughs> I've okay. never seen this in I'm my life. Speak right here. No, no. Speak, speak right louder. there. Speak louder. louder. Yeah. Okay, if we broke up, would you date someone in the office? Yes. You're not speaking. What is happening? <laughs> We're gonna try doing it this way and I'll turn it around. Yeah. Okay. If we broke up, would you date someone in this office? Yes. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> Who would you date? I can't say. Okay, let's go, the, let's go through the names. <laughs> no! Let's go through the names. No! 
Pete, okay? Here we go. I'm not if into If we movies. broke up, would you date no. Peter? She didn't answer. No, because I'm not going to answer. That would make things weird. Mm. Hmm. Leave a comment down below who you think it is. <laughs> who do you think it is? Who do you think it is? <laughs> who do you think it is? Hmm. Peter. He's fired. Hey, Peter! Yeah? You're fired! Do you like everyone in the office? From a office perspective, not like a friend, you know, we're friends outside of this, but like, do you like everyone in this office? From a work perspective. From a work perspective. No. Who don't you like? Who? That's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's Janet. Who does the least amount of work? <laughs> Hi, Luke. It's not you, Luke. Ash would date someone in the office if Ryan died. We asked you if you liked everyone in the office from a work perspective, but this is a two-part question. Do you like everyone in the office from a friendship perspective? Yes. Okay, that's true. Yeah, I love everyone. That's true. Okay, but would you ever blame somebody in this company for something that you actually did? Like, would you blame, as an example, Janet? Would you blame her for something that you did? You screwed up, but you had to put the blame on someone else, so you did. Would you do that? No. Let's see what the lie detector says. Ash! For the machine to not be able to read you. The machine from Target? It read everyone else! <laughs> no one else has had any issues. Just saying. Would you ever blame something on a coworker that you actually did? No. Liar! Liar! Busted! I knew it! You would blame. I knew it! Me! Me! You blame Janet. How terrible. I you're that not? That's that a friend, That dude. is most certainly something we have to note down, you know, as a company, for sure. Are you the type of person to start drama on social media? Not anymore. Used to be. <laughs> not anymore. Not yeah, anymore. you used to be. I you used, used to, to love be. your Twitter drama. Yeah. Not worth it. Not worth it. I, I, I knew the answer to that one. So I, I knew- Someone I, came from my show, and then I got scared, and then I was like, bye. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you used to love Twitter drama, causing any little problems you could on the social media. I remember I even caused fake drama with somebody just so we could get Why traction. Would you? I was small, I was desperate. You started fake drama. Yeah. To get publicity. Yeah. Wait, what? Logan Paul and KSI. You're basically just Logan Paul or KSI. I was. Take her out, Janet. Do the deed. No. We're out of ammo. We're out of ammo. Oh, well. That's disappointing. Do you think that you're the best employee in the company? Yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> she really, she really, she really does think that she's the best employee in the company. Hmm. Now, <laughs> Ryan, you're in the company. I said employee. I'm not an employee. No. He's Do you think boss. you're the best person in the Do company? Do you think you're the best person in the company? Yes. <laughs> She definitely thinks it. It ain't true though. What? All I'm saying is before we had Peter, who went through everyone's emails, got everyone brand deals, oh, and made sure that you had a schedule. That's all oh, I'm saying. Hmm. Who put this company up from the ground up over a matter of 10 years and really worked his butt off to get home? Oh, whoa, crazy. Anyway, moving on. Uh, do you think anyone in this company should be fired? Anyone on <coughs> payroll or employees in the office? Anybody. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Ryan has coughed like that 50,000 times in this video alone. He was sick and I went there. I had no idea he was sick and I almost got sick for you guys. If I get sick within the next 48 hours, I blame Ryan. Anybody who works for Rocky Media, should they be fired? Okay. Yes. Who is it? Oh! Put my name in there. Put my name in there. <laughs> No, I'm not okay. gonna answer that. Oh my God, it's me! <laughs> you if you don't answer, it's me! This is the final question. I'm about to test how much you really love me. Do you love any of your pets more than you love me? No. Sound very uncertain. Mm. It's a lie! It's not! Which it. one is it? No! Do you love Dakota more than me? No, no. It's Dakota. She loves Dakota more than me. You see that, Luke? Oh my god! Mm. The target lie detector has proven that she loves her dog more than her That's own boyfriend. That's not true. I mean, mm. he did come before you, though. See, the proof is in the pudding. 
Now, you see, I'm really thinking that, you know, that this is, this, this has opened my eyes, mm -hmm. okay? But I, I hate confrontation, so nothing's gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, so well, I, I, that's pretty much it. Fun video, dude. Yeah, yeah, there we go, that's it. Yeah, you're good. Uh, no one's getting fired today, that's, that's you it. You guys are safe. Luke, except you. You're on my list. You're on his list. Hey, Tyson, can you green screen this thing to look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex eating you? <laughs> no, okay, maybe. Oh, that looks so cool. Um, I'm dying. I'm dead, and I'm dead. Uh,